let's start off uh, Sunday morning with a talk. I, I followed this guy called Tennessee Sharpshooter. He's a manicure deuce kind of guy. Pretty cool guy on the tube, I mean. I mean. Every day he gives you some kind of talk. <laughs> well, we're going to give you a talk this morning as we head to the button patch. And this may be the last time we go to the button patch. I don't know. You know, I've never been a dirt hunter to speak of. I'm a beach hunter. But I have hunted in the dirt on rare occasions. And 99% of the dirt hunting I've done, I have done, is right here at the button patch since 2010 and 11. When we went in there with our SE Pro, E Track, Xterra, CTX, and then we stopped hunting in 2018 or 19. I don't remember when. They growed all up and it got cut back down and growed up again, got cut back down. So it's cut back down right now. It rained last night, so it's going to be muddy today, but maybe that's loosened up a few targets. I'm going to hunt uh, several different ways a day with this manicure, testing it out a little here and a little there, with the dirt, of course. And I'm 99% sure how it's going to be in the beach. All I have to do is turn it on, put it in the beach mode, and see it's all water, and the rest will be glory, I hope. That's when I go to the beach. Don't, don't, uh, I'm not overly excited yet. It's cold today, it's in the high 40s I think they're supposed to get up in there a little warmer today but right now it's chilly and it's a shade of a breeze blowing I'm on my way I just dropped off two sets of knives that I picked up yesterday I'm on the last global set of knives now I got about seven miles to go and then I can get on the expressway and head to the patch so far this manicure in the dirt for what little dirt hunting I do like I said is a is a fine little heater and I can see if you spent more time with it it would improve even more I think I got another spot I want to check out I can't even get there by car I have to be dropped off and picked up it's a uh, no access I may give it a spin before I go to the beach but the beach is uh, coming up soon I dropped one of my farmer's markets that I've done for five or six years on Wednesday, so I don't have to worry about going to the farmer's market. It'll give me more time to spend at the beach. I have a farmer's market on Saturdays, a farmer's market every third, first and third Thursday of each Thursday afternoon. So that gives me some time depending on the way the tide goes and comes, up or down, low or high, you know what I mean. We don't hunt the high tide. What else are we talking about today? Let's see, let's see. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, Ron, my buddy from uh, Gold Digger Detectors, he said, yeah, you're doing a lot of dirt running with them, with them buttons. I'm gonna send you a brand new uh, pinpoint and let you try it out. I'll show you a picture of it today. Today I have a brand spanking new Nokia, I guess you'd call it Nokia, Nokia or some damn thing. It's a, I don't know what you call it, but it's a Nokia fancy, kind of large pinpointer look at this doopy here in the middle of the damn road anyway we gotta see how that goes I tested it you know at the house and everything it seems pretty pretty beat pretty fancy little uh, uh, what do you call it pinpointer this is one of them pinpointers that you can buy a coil a little round coil and take it underwater it's an underwater pinpointer Pulse induction. I don't know. But well, we'll give it a try today. See how it does. Ryan said, if you don't like it, box it back up and send it back to me. <laughs> I said, okay, buddy. Send her on out here. She came in the mail yesterday. Stand by, I got changed lanes. Okay. I don't know what else to talk about right this minute. I think about it as I go down the road. Detecting Talk Sunday. <laughs> well, 
up. We got about 10 minutes to go before we get to the patch. We're crossing over the, uh, I don't know what you call it, bridge here, Great Bridge, I call it. This is the Elizabeth, I guess it's the eastern branch of the Elizabeth River. We're going to hunt in a high conductor today. We, we've never hunted in high conductor since we've been coming over here. We're going to do a factory reset and start from scratch. And take out anything I may have changed. And probably sensitivity, we're going to start out at 23, 24, 25. Then we're going to jump it up, maybe drop it down. I think we're hunting fast. We'll see how a high conductor does. Then we're going to do a little bit more experimenting. And then, in a couple days, weather permitting, the beach. But not the land of Nada yet. On the bay someplace. Stand by. High conductor, 28 sensitivity. You turkey, you. Nice 47, stand by. Well, a nice 55 out. No, 46. That should be a pretty nice ticket, I think. Stand by. It, it seems to be a flat button. But it's a fine, nice button. Stand by. First ticket of the day. High conductor. High con what do you call it? High conductivity. Sensitivity. I did end up, well, I started at 25, but I ended up at 30. Well, we got a sensitivity down at 25 on this one. It's uh, it's different. I don't think as much to this. You don't get much this way at all. It's an iron. See the red line? But strong this way, look where it marks. Stand by. Sounds okay. Stand by. Well, I see something laying right there on top. <laughs> That's a penny, I mean a nickel. <laughs> I threw that out there about a month ago. Uh, not a month ago. The, the second time I came here, I threw that out there. <laughs> Pretty good. I can hear it at 25 fairly good, but if I knock it up to 31, I can hear it better. But look where it reads. Right at the bottom. See it down there? Stand by. Let's see what that is. Well, it was deep. He's good out. Stand by. Seems to be a fired bullet. Feels like lead anyway. Stand by. Well, let's check this one out. You see, we'll go this way first. Look at the iron. See the red bar? We turn this way on it.
we get a little faint hit over there on the right. Let me turn this way. About the same, but it's not very deep. Let's see what it is. Well, it wasn't lying to us. Some kind of irony thing. Well, I didn't film this because it was only at like two inches deep and it came in as a nine and a ten. So I was figuring it was a piece of crap or something. But it looks like it's a button and the edges broke off of it. And the shank is broke off the back. But a button nonetheless. That's the first shallow button we ever found here like that. I don't know why we didn't find it the other day, or the other days, I should say. Stand by. Well, I'm sitting on a the only tree stump around here taking a break my leg says hey hey let's take a break for a minute i'm over on the uh, wil the wilderness side there's a patch in front of us i'm on the wilderness side of it just just walking around over here i found a 22 over here and that's it we got to go across that ditch in a minute and get back to the patch stand by Bummer. Another bullet. Bullet, I guess. Okay. A big nut, I mean, <laughs> a big, uh, it's not a nail, you call it a, you know what you call it. Four shotgun shells, some lead ammo. That's modern, whatever that is, I think. No markings. This one's pretty cool. It's got, oh, it's got a name on the back of it. You won't be able to see it, but I'll put a closer picture where you can see it. That's not, I like it. I'll get back to you, see and stand by. <laughs> 